Becca Nolan with Nolan Fitness and today's Tasty Tuesday recipe I'm going to be showing you how I do my homemade granola. Um, I start off with about four cups of oats. Uh, I put it in just any big bowl that you have. Um, I usually take about, I do about a half a cup of honey and then I put it in there too and if your honey's thick you can just put it in the microwave and then that'll, that'll make it mix a little better. I like to take about half a cup of peanut butter. I use crunchy, but you don't have to. Um, and you can use almond butter or cashew butter. It's really whatever your preference is. Um, sometimes if I like to make it a little sweeter kick to it, I'll use the coconut spread and that turns out really well. Um, I like the sweet taste that it gives it. It's a little splurge. Um, and then uh, you don't have to add vanilla extract, but I like to add it. Uh, I usually do about two tablespoons or so. Um, and then I'll add any kind of nut, really, it doesn't matter. Um, I usually pick a nut every week and then I'll put about, I don't know, I use about half of this in here. Um, you can put sunflower seeds in there, you can put pumpkin seeds in there, sesame seeds, walnuts, almonds, you get my drift. You can pretty much put as much or as little as you want in there. Um, it just kind of depends on what you like. Uh, I just like to pick one a week though sometimes just to make it simple on me because nuts can get expensive if you're buying, you know, five different nuts to put into granola. So that's just what I use for myself um, and it seems to last a bit longer. Um, I'll also put cinnamon um, on there but today I used pumpkin spice just, you know, getting in the mood for um, fall coming up and that turned out really good. Um, and then I just basically mix it all up and like I said, put the peanut butter in the microwave if you have to and that will make it mix better. And peanut butter is also one of those things you don't have to put it in there. But I like to because it um, gives a little more staying power with you, a little more protein in there. Uh, I set the oven for about 325 to 350. Uh, it cooks for about 10 minutes. Um, my oven takes a little longer so it takes about 15 to 20 minutes. And just eyeball it. Uh, you know, set a timer and just eyeball it and then just use your spatula to kind of turn the oats a little bit to make sure you're getting all different sides. Um, and then basically you're spreading it on the cookie sheet. So it's really a simple recipe, it's really versatile. You can use the granola just in cereal, you can put it on your yogurt. Um, I like to take a banana um, at night sometimes, um, sprinkle it on there and then heat it in the microwave. Um, sometimes I'll even put a little protein powder in there and mix it up. It's just a good um, sweet, sweet craving treat at night. Um, but sometimes you can just put it in a Ziploc bag and then take it with you, keep with you for those emergencies um, when you haven't gotten your snack yet and you're out and about to keep your metabolism up. Uh, so that's a very simple recipe you can use. Um, so that concludes today, I guess.